Despite developing the brain being the main focus, the main purpose of education, many of us working in schools know surprisingly little about how it functions. Professor Hugh Cocum worked for many years at Frenchay Hospital's Department of Neurosurgery in Bristol and has an in-depth and generally hands-on knowledge of how our brain operates. The two hemispheres of the brain have different functions. The left hemisphere of the brain has the functions of uh, speech and uh, numerical calculation, whereas the right-hand side of the brain, that has um, spatial awareness and pattern recognition. The frontal lobe is really the part of the brain that, that makes us human beings because it, it carries the areas of the brain which determine human behaviour, uh, consideration of other people, drive, motivation and that sort of thing. Just behind is the motor association cortex and that is the part which um, uh, formulates the sort of movements you want your body to make. Behind the association motor cortex is the motor cortex itself, and this is the part of the computer which actually um, causes the body to move and drives the muscles. The sensory cortex um, is the area of the brain where you understand and perceive all the sensations that are coming into your body, such as light touch, tickle, the wind on your face, and even pain. Just behind the sensory cortex is the sensory association area where your brain analyzes the sort of sensations that your body is experiencing. Temporal lobes are, to a great extent, involved in memory, but there are small parts of the temporal lobe which are also involved in the perception of uh, sound and understanding hearing. And right at the back of the brain um, is the fascinating area, the visual area and the visual association area. And scientists have now discovered that this is like a big uh, plasma TV screen which basically um, sees the world as a screen does and various parts of it will understand the signals that are coming in. In the left hemisphere of the brain um, there is the important motor speech area called the Broca's area. And this is what um, actually makes you deliver the words and produces the words. Uh, behind that is the sensory speech area called Wernicke's, and uh, in that area you understand the word. So we know that different areas of the brain have different functions, but does this mean that they work independently or together? The whole of the brain is necessary for almost every task and the whole brain is of course living and metabolizing all the time. It's quite interesting that um, modern research tells us that uh, if you do special brain scans showing the function of the brain, that uh, when patients are doing certain tasks, you, um, you, the scans light up and show us hot spots of the brain at work. And these hot spots are sometimes in the places where we would expect them to be, but sometimes they're scattered all over the place. It looks a little bit like the sky at night, indicating that different parts of the brain are all working together. Some of them are very distant, though. A good example of how we use different brain areas would be uh, guitar playing where of course we need motor for holding the guitar and um, strumming it and fingering the guitar. We need sensation to appreciate um, where our fingers are on the frets. Uh, we need um, auditory of course to listen to the music and uh, visual if we're reading the music. 